What's going on guys and welcome back to the film room. Today we're going to be getting into and talking some Demarcus Lawrence. Going to be showing you guys and breaking down a couple plays from his dominant performance against Philly on Sunday night as well as letting some clips roll out and talking about whether or not I think he deserves that 21 mil a year he's currently getting. Before we get into that, I want to make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because we are doing another jersey giveaway at 1,000 subscribers. I want to congratulate Ryan Hofer for winning the 500 subscriber jersey giveaway that we did on the last video. Got his CD Lamb jersey shipped out to him and he should be getting it on Thanksgiving. So you definitely don't want to miss out on that opportunity. Click that subscribe button real quick. Getting into the film though and specifically this play before I start rambling about why Demarcus Lawrence is worth every penny that we are paying him. This is going to be a little quick off tackle play with Boston Scott. Quick snap, quick handoff, and he's going to want to get up these hash marks, but D-Law shuts it down. I feel like this play encapsulates everything that makes D-Law worth the money we are giving him. This was just kind of the most prevalent play. If you look up the Marcus Lawrence on Game Pass, literally the first one to pop up. I'm not saying it's the only play. There are plenty of plays where you can find D-Law making this kind of impact. But uh, yeah, I'll let it play out for you. It's going to get off this block real quick, real easy. Gets to the backfield, misses first, but keeps hustling. Shows the effort to finish plays. What I want to show you guys, I want you to see at the beginning of this play, his eyes, his eyes are going to be in the backfield the whole time while engaging in the block with Jason Peters. Sets that edge first, sees he can get leverage on Peters, and gets through to make the play. Misses initially, but... High motor, ends up making the tackle for a four-yard loss. This play right here is going to be some of the same from that last play. Going to have elite awareness, play reading ability, and then hustle and high motor to get to the ball and make the play. This is going to be a quick little screen to Fulgham out here. The right tackle here is just going to let Demarcus Lawrence blow by. And instead of shooting up towards Wentz, he stays disciplined and responsible and aware of what is going on around him. Waits till Wentz gets that throw off and then goes down and makes a play on Fulgham and stops what could have been a much bigger gain. Getting into this play right here, and this is not Demarcus Lawrence's best rep, but I want to show you guys this because, sure, go ahead, question his talent ability. That's your opinion, but you cannot question this man's motor. Every time he steps on the football field, he wears that star with pride and he gives you 110%. Gets kind of beat out on this play. Yeah, he holds the edge well, but kind of pushed around. Still recovers, dives out, makes a play on the football. Ends up resulting in a loss of yards on the play. Like I said, say what you want about his ability, but these plays happen often with Demarcus Lawrence. And even if he doesn't always get home and make a play like that, he's given the effort to do so. Wanted to show you guys this play here because this shows just how smart of a defender that Marcus Demarcus Lawrence is. Excuse me. Gonna come out here. It's gonna be that same outside zone play to Boston Scott, except to the right. Marcus Lawrence gonna act like he gives up that outside. Nope. Hop back inside or outside and make the play. Gonna watch him here. He reads this play right away. He doesn't even attempt to kind of get a pass rush going. Stands up, sets that edge, sees the pulling guard. Fakes like he's going inside, comes back outside, and makes the play. I'm going to let the rest of these plays run out themselves so you guys can still have a visual of the kind of impact that D-Law is having. And just plays like these, getting into the backfield fast with efficiency, getting around blocks easy. I don't understand why there's just so much hate on this player um we have guys like Jalen smith jogging around in the field they're getting paid a lot of money but we're over here hating on demarcus lawrence when he's giving you effort and actually making plays in the backfield but we're doing it just because his sack numbers aren't up to par with guys like miles garrett i don't get that and this isn't to say demarcus lawrence is a bad pass rusher by any means he still gets to the quarterback relatively often and makes his presence known on passing downs. This play right here may not be a sack, but he gets to Wentz quick, forces the incompletion on a big fourth down play. We got to stop looking at the stat sheet to justify our opinions about these players. Jalen Smith leads the NFL in tackles right now, but I think if you watch the film and really look at Jalen Smith, he's terrible. He's not very good at all. 
but he leads it like we can we just gotta stop looking at the stat sheet to justify our opinions guys and just take your time and if you watch cowboys games man demarcus lawrence jumps out on the screen at you so feel free to comment below if you disagree i'll gladly debate you guys on this but demarcus lawrence is worth every penny of that 21 mil a year he is getting well i appreciate you guys stopping by and staying until the end Hopefully, I was able to give you guys some ammo to use against those stat sheet scouts that try to tear down Demarcus Lawrence and the importance that he has on this defense. If you guys enjoyed the video, feel free to like and subscribe to the channel, as well as commenting below your thoughts and opinions on Demarcus Lawrence. Also, definitely check out our website, CowboysFilmRoom.com, and give us a follow on Instagram and Twitter at CowboysFilmRoom. Post anything on there from Cowboys highlights, Cowboys news, really just anything talking Cowboys football, and it's a great way to stay up to date with the channel. Well, I appreciate you guys stopping by as always, and I will see you on the next video.